students will define ampere with the help of the two parallel straight conductors in which currents are flowing that we discussed last time that currents are flowing into parallel straight infinite long conductors then if currents are in the same direction they will attract and opposite direction they will retain and the uh, force acting for unit length is also found and it was found to be uh, mu naught upon 4 pi to i1 i2 i1 and i2 are the current flowing through the conductors divided by the distance between the two conductors the perpendicular distance of separation separation between the two conductors so let us define <coughs> ampere We will define ampere. Now, if currents are flowing in both the conductors, I1 is flowing in this first conductor and I2 in the second conductor, then according to According to the uh, law of uh, magnetic effect of electric current, we have uh, uh, got the force that is uh, acting on this uh, conductor and the force exerted on this conductor because of the presence of the magnetic fields of each other. The force acting on any one of the conductor, whether this this is the force, uh, the current in the same direction, they will attract each other. So suppose this force is F1 and this force is F2. Then and x is the distance of separation between the two conductors and force acting for unit length this is the formula now to define uh, current what uh, define current that is ampere how to define one ampere so the question is to define one ampere now if so this is uh, nothing but 2 into minus 7, this is 10 raised to minus 7, i1, i2, divided by x. If I put x, l, i1, i2 as 1, that means if the distance of separation is 1 meter, the current in the 2 is same and that is 1 amps. L is 1 meter or I can say the force per unit length force per unit length if I put all these values 1 this expression comes down to Newton per meter this is uh, this F is uh, in Newton now, so this F, F1 and F2 here, both are uh, same in magnitude. So this F, I will drop subscript F1 and F2 as only F and F. This force, if this force is 10 to minus 7, that means this conductor pulls this conductor. Two conductors are there. If any one conductor pulls the other conductor with a force equals to 2 into 10 to minus 7 Newton per meter of the length of the or the force expressed per acting on this per unit length is 10 raised to 2 10 to minus 7 Newton. Then, and when current flowing and the distance of separation is also 1 meter, then how, what is the amount of current that is flowing in both the conductors? That means, what is the amount? what is the amount of current that is flowing in both the conductors because of which the force that is produced the force that is exerted on this conductor and this conductor is 2 into 10 to minus 7 newton per unit length that current is called 1 ampere so 1 ampere is that current which when flows through in both the conductors exert a force of 2 into 10 to minus 7 newton per meter when the distance of separation between the two conductors is 1 and that current is known as 1 ampere. 
So I'll write the definition. I just state you again. One ampere is that current which flows in both the conductors. Okay. So that is equal. The current should be equal in both the conductors. So one ampere is that current which flows in both the conductors, separated by a distance of one meter, exerts a force of two into ten to minus seven newton per unit length of the conductor. If the current is more than that, the force will change. If the current is less than that, force will change. So exactly to get that force 2 into 10 to minus 7, whatever current flows, that current is called 1 ampere. So I will write the definition of 1 ampere. So one ampere is that current which flows in both the conductors separated by a distance of one meter exert a force of this on each other per unit length in space. That means both the conductors are also kept in space or a vacuum or a free space. That is, this is free space or air. So holding two conductors in air separated by a distance of one meter, if this exerts a force of two into ten to minus seven, this exerts a force of two into ten to minus seven on this, then the current must be one ampere. Okay. Two conductors. That is how we define conductors. Uh, current. So therefore, the uh, this is not this is an important point to note is that the uh, electric current, which is uh, the unit is ampere, is not considered as the uh, the charge. That is uh, is not the fundamental quantity. Charge is uh, surprisingly is not the fundamental quantity. Current is the fundamental quantity. Okay. Thank you.